after my fire admin is up and running and I'm satisfied how it looks and how it works locally it's time to upload it either to my hosting or my firebase console so this is really unique feature that you will be able to install directly the, this firebase admin directly in firebase in the hosting part so what I should do next is follow the documentation and first I will need to run npm run build so this is my project at the moment it has the public and the source folder and the node modules and I will put this in my terminal and I will run npm run build this will create a build folder that I should upload to, to Firebase so this optimized my JavaScript and my HTML in order to be a single page website and it should be really fast and in a few seconds I have I will have the build folder created yep and my build folder is done so the next step what I should do is to install npm install globally firebase tools I have already done this and you should also do this and then also run maybe firebase login if uh, if you want to log in in firebase or this script also will ask you for a login information so the next thing that I need to do is to initialize a firebase project here so I will be entering Firebase in it and here Firebase asks me what I should do should I deploy Firebase real-time database rules functions or hosting in this case I want to host my website and I'm moving this with my pointer but in order to select it I should press on space so you, here now you see the green selection and this is really important because this is a common mistake and after it's green you can press on enter and the firebase project will be initialized and I will have to answer a few questions okay so it first it asked me what project it is so it's my tester project and what is my public directory and by default is public but in our case it's not the public folder but the build folder so I should enter build and configures a single page app yes and file built index.html already exists do, do I want to overwrite it no don't overwrite it and it says that firebase initialization initialization is complete so what I should see here is the this file this firebase, firebase.json and uh, these two files describe how Firebase tools should upload to my Firebase hosting. So the next thing that I need to do is to, to enter Firebase deploy. This will upload my host my files to my uh, Firebase console. And I will be able to run my website on the Google environment, which is really fast environment and it's super fast and the connection to Firebase is direct so it's the fastest thing that you can get from Google at the moment it's uploading I have around 200 files so it could take a while but later when you do the changes all you have to do is just run the same commands first npm build and then just firebase deploy and it, this will be uploaded to your firebase hosting so I will wait a while in order the files to be uploaded to my Firebase. After that I will have my website up and running and later on I can connect uh, my own domain that will point to my website and you can use any domain that you own.
I have already uploaded few few items, a few deployments there. Here you can connect the domain. Here you will see the how many usage there are on the on the hosting part. And so now I will be able to see my new updated update coming up. In general it will be the same update as my last test so I will open it from here and as you can see it's pretty fast the logs in and the data is retrieved a bit faster when it's on my local host since the connection is really the server files and the storage when I upload my files is the same server the files are uploading and yeah as you can see it's 100% done and it's deploying at this moment start the release process so disables the old app and starts a new one and tells me the hosting URL so this is this is that one so yeah that's the one that I have already and you will be able to connect your own domain to to access the Firebase admin thanks for watching this video on how easy it is to upload your Firebase admin to Firebase